Hey y'all, we're Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping. And on today's Tuesday Talk for RVers, we're gonna talk about a summertime toy that all RVers should have. What toy do I need in the summertime? <laughs> a pool noodle. Of course. So I can put it on and go swimming. In your RV? In my RV? No, but in my RV. So, can what we just be real? This thing? Most RVers know what to do with the pool noodle. I mean, you could I do. You could take it to the pool like he wants to do. I know what to do. Or, um, what most people use them for is, you know, you split them down the side with just a knife, utility knife. I used a steak knife. Um, and they snap them on the bottom of their slot outs because nothing worse than bending over to get into one of your storage areas and you stand up and whack your head what, on. Whack that cranium. Um, I also know people that, ours is way tall, but like our storage door opens up and it stays out. It doesn't latch all the way up. It has little arms on it, whatever you call those. So it opens straight out. Struts. So <laughs> people will put these on that so that they don't run onto them. I mean, run into them and and we don't, we don't have the same awning, but you know the manual awnings you have to pull out? The arms come all the way down. Yeah, I've seen them so on the I've awnings seen them too, on that so. too. Or I've also <laughs> seen them on people put like the little um, the little tent, whether you have somebody staying with you in a tent outside because you wouldn't let them come in. I don't know. That's a thing people do. But, uh, or whether it's the little tent that you canopy that you have outside with your picnic table in order to keep the bugs out. They'll put these around the strings that they tie them down with because it's a little bitty string and people don't see them and they trip over. And you can over. see this a little bit better now. Yeah, that shows string. up. What I got, well, I didn't even get it. So let me just tell you, my girlfriend Lisa got me these. Um, a pull noodle for is. Look at the look at the quality job. I'm she a professional. Did on that. So, in our bedroom, Ooh, our bed. Well, but in our bedroom, in our case, our bedroom, our bed is north south which means it's in the nose of the camper and it runs this way. Um, our closet is in a slide or our wardrobe or whatever you want to call it. So it's doors at the top with the closet rod, drawers at the bottom, and they slide in. When that slide comes in, my mattress is on a base that slides as well. So it hits the mattress and slides it over against the other wall, which is all a great thing. And it all works just fine, except... Well, it worked better before we changed our It worked better before hardware. I changed my hardware to this black hardware. So now... The black problem hardware. is the hardware hits the base of the bed, which is like this wooden looking, you know, finish. And so when you're driving down the road, it's rubbing on the um, wood finish and it leaves a mark on it. So I cut this in half and cut these grooves in it so that I can snap it over my hardware. And then when we run the slides in and it hits the bed this will hit it and it won't scratch it anymore so i don't know these are a couple bucks at any but we we had trouble finding them well mostly because i looked for them in indiana early in the year and let's face it it's colder up there longer so they didn't have their summer stuff out yet but back home in virginia pool noodles are everywhere right now and they're relatively cheap like i said somebody bought it for me but i'm pretty sure they're under five dollars so what are you guys using your pool noodles for or do you have something else you're using to protect your head protect your arm well yeah because we never had these i've seen them on everybody else's campers but we never had one and with that hardware i'm like that's a great idea we're gonna get that that's what i'm gonna do to fix it and so now i've got the rest of this pool noodle i told you and nothing really important to do with it other so than Maybe over our slide in the bedroom, but most oh, yeah, times yeah, that's yeah. high enough. Our slides are either too high or they're too low, and I don't usually yeah. hit them. So there's so. got to be plenty of other uses for such a cheap little thing. So uh, one other thing I've seen people use them for is in their microwave, because the plate moves. They'll cut this and they'll slide it into the microwave, oh. and it holds their plate still. That's pretty slick. Oh. Because that little tray is always trying to get out when you open so it So there's up. some more use for this. So we need some more ideas because yeah. I'm only going to use this much more. And I think we have, we have another one of these. No, I just one. But, but anyway. you know, what do you use yours for? Because, like I said, we never had them. And now I've got two for my bedroom. And he's going to put one in the microwave. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of it. So I hope she takes it out of the microwave before she cooks. Yeah, you never know. 
So give us some suggestions. Once again, another short Tuesday talks. We're Hope back, guys. We're these. back. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these. We're trying to find some more ideas to share with you share, guys. <laughs> share with you guys. So hopefully you're enjoying them. If you're enjoying them, please make sure you give us those thumbs, thumbs up. up. Ring the bell. Subscribe. Do, do what you're supposed to do. And as always, until the next time you find us camping. Safe travels, y'all.